Get the flurry! Get the flurry flurry! Running in a blurry hurry! Get those puppies! Canines on the run! Them dogs on dogs are fun! Without a fail, you'll wind up chasing your tail! What's the harm in ruffling his bed on the funny farm? Life's just the better roses! Friends with cold, wet noses, thick, thin, push and pull. It's one oh one oh wonderful, just tons of fun. One hundred and one Dalmatian. Ready, Lucky? Tripod on your mark. Get set. Lieutenant Pug, sir. While Colonel Cream Puff is away, I'm in charge. Got it? Yes, sir. How very take charge of you, sir. On your mark. Get set. Go. <laughs> Three leg wins. Again. And now for your reward. Hit the deck and give me 20! And you, loser boy, hit the deck and give me 50! Yes, sir. Hit the deck and give me 20. Three. I got it, I got it. What a bunch of pathetic crybabies you are. By this time next week, we'll be running the drill on unit cohesion. Huh? Unit cohesion, my favorite. All of us working together as one big dog. What's your name, soldier? A pig, sir. Take the deck, pig dog, and give me 30. Seven. You know, sir, the use of pejorative labels only gives you the illusion of power. Take that, 38! When I give the order, you will divide in the two teams to practice the Bark Brigade march. You will learn how to march the same, sound the same, look the same. Those of you who cohese may become cadets. Do you hear me? Yes, sir! You, Freelay, and you, loser boy, you two are my team leaders. <laughs> Must be my lucky day. Yes, sir! Pick your teams. Duke. Take the bucket. Aww. You're waiting, recruit cake. Okay, okay. I'll take spot. Yippee, <laughs> yeah, this is gonna work out just great. Okay, when I give the count, march! One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Stepping proud with head held high, raise my feet up to the sky. March from sun up till it's dark, feel my thunder, hear my bark. Look at them! Did you see that? I know what you're thinking. They look better than we do. And it's the chicken's fault. At least you got one thing right. We're supposed to march the same, and sound the same, and look the same. We're supposed to be one big dog. Well, we're close. We're one big dog and a chicken. Be a big dog. Just give me a chance, will you? Watch this. Clips <laughs> of chicken. Lucky, what's the matter? You guys, we gotta get rid of Spot. Why? If we want to get into the cadets, we have to look like a team. She just doesn't fit in. Let's celebrate our differences. There's a little chicken in all of us. We'll just spread our wings and have a group cluck. I'm with Lucky. How do we get the chicken to leave? Easy. We make it her idea. Wag your tails, troops. Left, right, left, right. I said wag your tail, chicken. I'm wagging, I'm wagging. And what's with the two-legged walk? Hey, two legs are all I got. Listen, chicken. If you want to hang with the dogs, you gotta walk like a dog. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't know what looks funnier. A bunch of puppies playing army? Or a chicken who thinks she's a dog? Is this the Bark Brigade or the Bark, 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 bark Brigade? <laughs> I'm doing my little best, sir. Oh, yeah? Let's see what you got. Falling! Left face, forward march! You can take the chicken out of the hen house, but you can't take the smell out of the chicken. P.U. Take a bath, feather girl! <laughs> really, sir? Must you resort to cheap personal hygiene jokes simply to assert your authority? I was talking to that dumb cluck, not you. So why don't you just drop and give me... Uh, 30... 7... <laughs> And I don't smell. And even though you are my ranking officer, you have no right to speak to me that way. So if you don't mind, I'd appreciate you showing me a little more respect in the future. That's it, the croats. You're out. You'll never be a cadet as long as you live. What a coincidence. I was just leaving. Well, recruits, looks like you don't have a platoon anymore. And without a platoon, you can't march in the drill, which means you can kiss the Bark Brigade goodbye! <laughs> well, you happy now? She may be just a chicken, but she was our chicken. Hey, I'm the team leader. I can do what kind of team leader lets a teammate get grilled like that? <sighs> Uh, is it just me, or is anybody else hungry? What was I supposed to do? Stand up for a chicken? I didn't even want her on the team. Us dogs gotta stick together! Guys? see beyond my own spots and I didn't think about how to make the most of our dog chicken team I wasn't much of a leader to let lieutenant pug talk to you that way and what I said wasn't much better so I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm sorry keep talking well it was really brave the way you stood up to lieutenant pug I wouldn't have had the guts to do that and look where it got me right back in the head house with no chance of becoming a cadet not necessarily. Huh? I have a plan. March from sun up till it's dark. Feel my thunder, hear my bark. What's Pug gonna say? Who cares? The important thing is, we cohesed. Ready, troops? Ready, charge! <laughs> was the most disgusting display of insubordination I have ever seen. You are all a disgrace. You are nothing... <coughs> <laughs> Colonel, <laughs> sir, uh, what are you doing here? Well, I couldn't miss this great moment, seeing you welcome each of these fine pups into the Bark Brigade. Isn't that right, Lieutenant? So, yes, sir. Very good. Carry on, Lieutenant. Drive on. You and your team displayed hard work and precision. And lucky, you get special mention for your uh, creativity. <laughs> that is very uh, grand. Cruella. 
You owe me. Cruella's purse. And it's full of moolah. Finally, I can have that crystal gazer's mood color I've always wanted. Finally, I can have that Thunderbolt PI spy set. Finally, I can have that afternoon at the Royal Hydra Day Spa for dogs. Whoa, wait a minute. Hold on. Stop. We cannot spend this money. It's not ours. We have to return it. Return it? We don't even really know who it belongs to. Besides, Spot, ever hear of finders, keepers, losers, weepers? Nice try, but it's clearly Cruella's purse, and I'll give you two good reasons why we should return it. One, it's not our money to spend, and two, she might think Anita stole it, and Anita does not need that kind of trouble. I didn't even think of that consequence. I've been so selfish. I forgive myself. Somebody's got to take it up there. I'm not going. Hmm. hmm. Never thought of that option. Well, I for one am glad we did the right thing and returned Anita's purse. Anita's purse? Fifteen hundred and eighty-two dollars. Well, that's the exact amount of Reggie and Anita's monthly mortgage payment. Hmm. I suppose I should return it to Anita. Then again, finders keepers, losers weepers. <laughs> Thanks to you, we could be in really big trouble. Oh, no. I am not your skate chicken. You're in this mess with me. Well, I guess it wasn't so clear that it wasn't Cruella's purse after all. Yeah, we just assumed that it was Cruella's purse. We didn't even think to look beyond the moolah to see the other evidence. Boy, jumping to conclusions sure is expensive. Okay, we made a mistake, but we can fix it before it's too late. Come on, we've got to get it back. Oh, and I suppose you think Cruella's just gonna leave the money in some easy-to-get-to place. Cruella! Now, where should I put the money? Oh, I know. I'll put it right here. <laughs> you were saying? Wait a minute. I can't put it there. Some mangy, sniveling puppy might sneak in and steal it. Where can I hide it? No, 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 no. Too wet. <sighs> Too <coughs> dusty. <sighs> Too smelly. You could hide it in a shoebox in your closet. Yeah, I hide all my shoeboxes in the closet. <laughs> You're fired! the perfect hiding place. Hmm. <gasps> I know. I'll hide it in a shoebox in my closet. Mm. But I'll need guards. You two, you're hired. This is Watchdog One. He's going clear over. This is, um, uh, Wiener Dog Seven. Uh, whatever you said, over. Look at him. They'll never leave their posts. They're like robots. Where there's a strategy, there's a way. It just takes knowing the weakness of the enemy. And I have a pretty good idea what their weaknesses are. Here's the plan. Welcome to the commercial channel. All commercials all the time. And now a word from our sponsor. Peter Dog. You smell something? No. All that? Wait a minute. Wait a minute, watchdog. I smell junk food. And I hear a TV. Oh. And that's not all. With your $48.95 purchase of Rugly Slip On Hair, you'll also receive our new Clip On Pants absolutely free. Clip On Pants. Oh, if only I had the money. Cruella's closet. about a person's innermost being. But since Cruella's closet is saying, I think I'm gonna throw up. Forget what the closet is saying. 
who else said she hid Anita's money inside a shoebox? She sure does like shoes. And I bet you anything, it's in the one at the very, very top. And your reasoning is... Because it's the hardest one to get to, that's why. Wait a minute. Let's not jump to conclusions like we did when we assumed that this was Cruella's purse. That's what got us into this mess in the first place. Maybe Cruella was thinking that we think that she thinks to put it in the very hardest place. Maybe she put it in a perfectly easy and obvious place like right here. Hey, I was right. Making toast is as easy as making toast with the Toast Toaster Toaster Oven. Yours for three easy installments of $79.95. Toasting filaments not included. If only I had the money. Come on, let's get out of here. The door's gone! Where's the door? Where's the door? Oh no, we're stuck! Stuck! Stuck in here forever! Become a professional ballerina in three easy lessons for only $99.99. If only we had the money. Hey, Wattog, we could borrow some money from that purse in the closet. And how would we pay it back, Wiener Dog? Are you low on cash, dying to borrow money but don't know how to pay it back? Play Super Duper Legal State Lottery! The jackpot is up to $29 trillion! <laughs> Suit on your right, evening wear, swimwear, underwear. <laughs> Bell bottoms and bloomers, hip huggers and hoop skirts, petticoats and pantaloons, moo-moos and miniskirts, cardigans and kimonos, tutus and t-shirts, and just ahead, lingerie. Over. Roger that. It's just like posing as a security guard. Over. 